Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline Crafty, and guess what today is? Yes, it is a Thrifty Connects Thrifty Thursday video. So these are just a few things I've collected. I collected some at a thrift stores, but mostly they came from the Lions Club garage sale. So I got these weird little metal things. And if you watch Kim Newberg's channel, when Thelma was visiting her, they made some, I guess, beaded curtains in a way. But they're just beads that hang in the window, and I really love them. They look so cool. But the way my windows are in my craft room, I can't hang those. So what I want to do is I want to make some beaded mobile type things. So these are what I'm going to use. So I'm going to hang it up here. I'll have beads of some kind all over here, and then I'll have some long dangles. So then I can just hang it from my roof. So I've been looking for some kind of little metal type things that I could hang up. So I found this, and I found this here thing. I have no idea. I think it's supposed to sit in something, and then there's a candle that goes in there. But I'm thinking that might work good to hang strings of beads down, and then I can hang it in the corner of my room. So I'm going to try it anyways. See what happens. Um, I'm going to try doing it on video. But I will at least show you what I'm making. Here's a few goodies. Now I threw these here into my bag because these are actually all beads on here. So if I can't use them the way they are, then I'll just harvest the beads off them for maybe on my little beaded mobiles or something. But at the Lions, it's kind of by donation. So I take a shopping bag with me. And I just throw everything in the shopping bag and then I give them a donation when I'm going out the door. So a lot of some of these have price tags, but just ignore those because of the fact that they came from the lions. And so here's just some like paper flowers. I got like a little pom-pom or something in the middle, but those are cute. We got this little um, embossing stencil of sea things. So I thought that was pretty cool. Price tag at Welkmart, two sixty nine, but And then obviously it was at either on sale or something, but who knows. But I just threw it in my bag. There are these here. Now, I haven't really looked at these yet. But these are little boxes. And you just fold them up. They're kind of a shiny paper. Actually, very cool paper. So, you know, like you'd fold it up and then it looks like little tie marks here. But what I want to do is I just want to cut that out because I thought that would make a really cool little embellishment and same up here you get a triangular one so I'll play with those I might use them as boxes who knows but there's probably a dozen or so there so I thought that was a cute little find we have pet collars and I thought they'd be good just for a charm on a call on a book that um about animals. So I grabbed those. Grabbed this here. This was $9.99 wherever they bought it, but they we got not even sure what this is. This is the pattern, I guess, for string art pumpkins. It looks like you use the eyelets to make something. Let's just see what these are. So there's like a star or something. So Star truck, autumn leaves, and web spinner. So I don't know if I'll use those, but I got them because of the grommets. These ones here are nice and big, which I don't think I have anything 
big like that at all. So to me, it was worth throwing it in my bag. So there's that. Then we got this here. Now I'm planning on making a peacock journal. And I thought that would go really, really good in a peacock journal. Even though they're not peacock feathers or anything, but just the coloring and just the design, I think, would go so good with it. Now, these are placemats. I believe they're placemats. There is one, two, I got four of them. So the back is this beautiful green color, which again would go beautiful in on a peacock journal. The, the colors just go so well. So I grabbed those, threw those in my bag. We have two really nice chunks of fabric. I did get these at one of the thrift stores. Now, a safari um, journal is another one that I want to make. So this would go great with those beautiful chunk. There's probably, oh, I'm going to say at least two meters of this. So that's who makes it. Licensed by Creative Licensing Corp. But beautiful chunk of fabric. Beautiful, beautiful. So that was from the thrift store. This was from the thrift store as well. And just some really cute um, safari theme type stuff. There's probably oh good half a meter so it looks like there's a monk a zebra a tiger a lion and a monkey by the looks of it but these would make great little panels for something as well as material in a hole but those are really cute fabrics them over there and then we got a bunch of odds and ends of little things so we will go through those wine labels i showed some wine labels not that long ago and these are more that i found at the lions the other ones i got at the lions too so um and the lions club is all um all their stuff is donated but there's some more wine labels to go with other ones. Some there's just a few, others there's tons. So that looks like somebody wrote on that. They were probably making their own wine. But these are fun. Kim Newberg um, has a lot of wine labels too. So we're thinking about doing some kind of collaboration with wine labels so that will be fun but some beautiful labels and most of these are are I believe like a glue and um, like a wet and stick labels that's a really nice one it's got the nice farm scene on it and whatnot some of them are totally not in English, so I have no idea what they say. I just know that they're wine labels. This is a nice wine label. Then there's some tucked in the back. Different ones. Oh, that's cute too with the owl. Beautiful color on that one. So yeah, so there's some wine labels. So those will be fun to play with. I got this here. It says love. It's actually a holiday ornament. But I thought, you know, that would look great on a journal of some kind. So something else. Throw it in my bag. I got some beads. These again too. Um, nothing special, but... Throw them in my bag. Got a couple of uh, little butterfly appliques. 
They're always fun to have. Now I found a bunch of handwritten recipes in a box at the Lions. I didn't take the box, but I got all the handwritten recipes just because I think they're so much fun. And it's always fun having like handwritten things. So some of them are just like a scrap piece of paper with a note on them. But I want to go through them all and just, I thought they would just look really cool for in a journal. I'll probably scan them. I have no idea how old some of them are. This one's from 84. But just some really fun, fun. This one's from 83 by the looks of it. But yeah, just lots of fun little things. Somebody had some very neat printing. But I thought I couldn't go wrong by taking these. I think they're, they're just fun to look at and fun to put in journals and stuff. So yeah, I will look through those even better, but then there is a little heart thing. Again, this is a holiday ornament, but would look great hanging on a journal. We got four of these. They're all the same. Um, I think it's machine done. But those are really, really pretty. I could cut the leaves out. I could use it as a hole in a journal. Whatever I decided. Here is some envelopes. I just thought there was a cute little pattern on it, so. Some of them are stuck closed, but just a nice little envelope. It says Warner Brothers, 1997 it says on there. So, I never have too many envelopes. Now, there was an old um, Monopoly game, and I looked in it. And a lot of the pieces were missing. A lot of the pieces. But it had this money in it. So I took the money out of it. But this is vellum money. And I thought, now how fun will that be to play with? I have never seen Monopoly money that is vellum. Now this particular Monopoly game was in a can. As I said, a lot of the pieces were missing, so the game itself was really no good to anybody. Unless you're going to use the vellum money in it. So the, you know, each of the different dollar values or your different colors. But I'm thinking, I think a person could have fun with this here. All the different colors. Let me know if you've ever seen a Monopoly game with vellum money. And of course we got all the different colors. So that's going to be fun. I think that's going to be fun to use. And there is a pretty good stack of it. So if nothing else, I've got a bunch of vellum I can use for something. And lastly, I found this here, which I thought was such a cute little bag. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. It's, it's like a crushed velvet, and then there's beading here, and of course all the way around. All the beads hanging down there. I thought if worse comes to worse, I could use the beads but it's just it's such a cute little bag i think it's from like for a phone or something it says 100 percent silk velvet made in china but it's very cute very 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 cute i love it 
Red is not usually my color, but I really like this little purse. So, there is a thrifty Thursday, fun little haul. Love all the stuff I got. Now I can find homes for it and whatnot and start making stuff out of it. We'll see you again soon. Bye.